Hey everyone and welcome to the third Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to capture and record a video from a webcam. Now let's begin with the project. File, New, Java Project, Java CV 3, click on Next, Build Path, Libraries, External Jar Files, Open and Auto Export, select All, Finish. Okay, and here right click, New, Class, just give the same name that is Java CV 3. Click on finish. Okay. Now I'll just import all the packages required for the Java CV to run. Import. It's finished. Coming to the main part of the program. Here, I just create a new uh, capture variable. The CV capture capture one equals CV create camera capture. In the, in the bracket CV cap any that means any default webcam will be taken as the input the capture one and now create a new window CV named window will give the name as live vid for the window name comma zero okay now to create a recorder uh, to record the frames from the webcam open CV has a function called frame recorder I'll just create a new frame recorder frame recorder recorder one equals new Open CV frame record. Recorder in the brackets. Okay, this function accepts three arguments. That is, first one is the name of the output file. That is, I'll just take it as, uh, no, type it as uh, record vid dot avi comma and the resolution of the video. Okay, I'll just mention it as default as a 640 by 480. Since uh, you know my webcam captures the images in uh, 640 by 480 by default, I'll just mention it as 640 by 480. If you want to change the resolution of the uh, video being recorded, then you can mention it below the capture one as CV set capture property uh, into the bracket. Uh, it accepts three arguments. That is, one is the capture one, comma CV cap prop frame width, comma 320, and I'll just change the resolution as 320 by 240. And I'll copy and paste it. Uh, you know, change the width as height. Height, and here it is 320, uh, 240. Okay, this function accepts three arguments. First one is the capture profile. The next one is the property, which we which need to set. That is the width and the height. Third one is the numerical value. You know, by 320 or 240, just like that. Okay, next, since I have set the resolution as 320 by 240, I need to change the resolution in the record one also. You know, you need to mention the resolutions as same in the capture property and also in here or else you will get an error. Okay, now setting the different properties of the recorder. Uh, first one is the recorder one dot set video codec as CV4CC MJPEG. It's here OURCC. Here it's recorder one. And next, after setting the video codec as MJPEG, you can set it to different codecs you want. And after setting that, you know, recorder one dot set frame rate. I'll just set it as 15 frames a second. And next, recorder one dot set pixel format. I'll just set it as one pixel. After setting the various properties, you can start the recorder by typing it as recorder one dot start. And you need to uh, you know, uh, surround it with a try catch statement, or you can just add a throw declaration in here. It adds the throw declaration. Okay, once the recorder has been initialized, we need to create a IPL image variable. I mean IPL image IMG1. Okay, now infinite while infinite loop to get the frames from the camera and to record those frames into the video file. I'll just use the infinite for loop. And here IMG1 equals CV query frame of capture one. Okay, next, if image one equals null, then break the loop. Once we have got the frames, we need to display them on a window. Show image function. See, we show image live with comma IMG1. Okay. Once we have displayed the images, we need to record them. Uh, you know, we need to save those frames, image frames, into the record with. So record one dot record of IMG, IMG1. So this function will save the uh, image frames into the record with dot avi file. Okay, once we have done that, next thing is CV wait key of 15 milliseconds. In here, if uh, you know car C equals car of CV wait key, we'll compare the character variable with 
value of q and break the loop we can just uh, you know type in the ascii value of q as 131 i mean 113 or you can just uh, type in the character with the single quotes uh, you know as it is so whenever i type the q uh, for, uh, whenever i you know type in the q uh, the loop should break and terminate the program so before terminating the program we need to stop the recorder type in as recorder dot one recorder one dot stop and we need to uh, you know destroy the window created cv destroy window live with and release the capture cv release capture capture one okay that's the end of the program and uh, now let's execute the program and see the output here it is live with the video is recording the frames at 320 by 240 i'll just type in q to stop the video terminate the program and go to the default directory workspace java 333 record with here it is 320 by 240 close just check on the properties of this video details okay, here it is 320 by 240 15 frames a second you can also change the frame rate by 230 or something like that 30 frames a second or something like that okay uh, you know if you want to uh, record the video in some other resolutions say as 1280 by 720 you can mention it there and you can you should also set that resolution in the capture property function okay here now let's click on run okay wait one second since I mentioned the zero in the CV name window function, the window will not resize to the image resolution. That means the window will stay as it is. The recording will be in a 1280 by 720 format. It will be recording uh, the video in a 1280 by 720 format, but the window will not resize to that image resolution. So if we, if we come over to the record bed, see here the frame width is 1280 and 720 frame height. The video will uh, the recorded video will play in the 720 and 1080 uh, frame resolution but since i mentioned zero the window will not resize so i need to type in cv window auto size so that the window will resize to any image resolution it is getting and run program okay here it is the window has resized itself to the image resolution which needs to be displayed inside that window Q to quit the program and here it is 1280 by 720 frames itself I'll just close this minimize this okay if your webcam default resolution is 640 by 480 that means you know if the webcam is capturing the images at default uh, you know resolution of 640 by 480 I mean you know if you mention the you know uh, resolutions as 640 by 480 in the capture window and but if you don't change the resolution in the recorder then it will give an error such as you know could not record the frame something like that so if you know if the defaults uh, you know if by default the webcam is capturing at 640 by 480 resolution uh, you need not to mention the capture properties uh, with the special function just click on run okay, here we have that means my webcam by default captures the uh, image frames at 640 by 480 resolution so uh, you know mentioning those things in a separate two functions is not so necessary if the resolution of the uh, camera and the recorder is same by default okay, that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching keep visiting my blog engineervisions.blogspot.in for more details and updates